Hey Muffins, I am back from the wonderful world of the sickness. I took antibiotics, I got really sick, and now I am back alive once again. I noticed a whole lot of people on the internet are doing videos on how to keep from getting sick. So I'm actually going to do a video on how to keep you from getting the muffin, the muffin madness. Yes. <laughs> So it is that time of the year where everybody gets sick. I'm around a lot of people and therefore I get a lot of sicker and it's really quite horrible, but you don't have to always get sick. I think in my case, I just had so many sicknesses piled up on top of each other that it was just, it was time. It was time for me to get sick, and now I feel better. It's quite amazing. But as always, before I begin this video, I'll let you know I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. I am just waving my arms and telling you things that work for me, but you have to find out what works for you. But here are a few suggestions of things that might possibly keep you from getting sick. The first thing that I do is I take vitamin C. There are varying values and levels of vitamin C that work for everybody. It will help boost your immune system and just generally make you feel better. Also along with vitamin C, take vitamin D. A lot of people are deficient in vitamin D because we don't get outside as much as we should. And so vitamin D makes you feel better, it makes you feel less cranky, and also will boost your immune system as well, which is really, really awesome. Beyond that, liquid hydration. If you are not hydrated, not only are your muscles suffering and everything else in your body's out of whack, but it does prevent your body from flushing out stuff that it needs to flush out. Alcohol and soda do not count in that. I would recommend that you drink only regular, regular water, as things in caffeine and alcohol do actually dehydrate you. I drink a lot of iced tea, but even that dehydrates you as well. So good old water is about the best you can do. Some people will tell you to wash your hands all the time and disinfect everything. I am not a huge fan of excessive amounts of that because then you don't get exposed to any germs whatsoever and then your immune system sucks and then you get really sick. I personally, I wash my hands every time I go to the bathroom. I wash them when they get dirty, but I do not just wash my hands to wash my hands. I also do not disinfect every single thing constantly. I do it when I'm cleaning. Beyond that, I don't, I'm not a constant disinfector. Because if I don't get any germs, then I will get really, really sick and I won't be immune to anything. And finally, this last tidbit of information may or may not be useful to you, but there have been doctors that have said an overabundance of taking medication when you're sick, like NyQuil, DayQuil, stuff like that, can actually make you sicker longer because your body's not flushing anything out. You're not blowing your nose as much, you're not coughing as much, and your body's just hanging on to that stuff. So take the minimum amount to feel decent. Don't take a ton, don't overtake it. Use what it says for recommended doses and don't drink a bottle of NyQuil. Don't do it, because if you do, this happens. <laughs> Trust me. I discovered that last week. Hey Muffins, try your best to stay healthy out there if you can. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything that makes you feel that much better when you are sick or anything that you found works. I am not a doctor, you are a muffin. I'm the muffin man. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't. I will see you all next time on a Bulkai octopus. I still haven't found anything. So we're just gonna do the arm thing forever, apparently. Oh, come on!